Hello, 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 everybody. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was good timing. Welcome back to World of Warcraft. My name is Samphoria, this is Sam Kai, and we have just popped for the Razorfin Crawl dungeon, which is very exciting. So just before we start, I just wanted to say, um, you may have seen in the description of the last video that I am going to be leaving now professions until we get to level um, 60, I believe it is, that we can fly. I don't know why I want to say 50, but I'm pretty sure it's 60. Um, so I'm going to leave them until we get there, and then we can spend a good few episodes just doing professions, because um, I feel like that would be more beneficial. So anything that I get that is going to be for a profession, kind of like um, anything that I mine, um, and things like that, I'm going to just keep um, in my inventory or in the bank ready for when we do do them. Because I am going to be mining as we go along. That's the only one that I'm going to be doing kind of as I go along. Just because I'm going to be walking past things to mine. So I feel like that would be a better idea. So that's the only one you're probably not going to see me like, um, like level um, all in one go kind of thing. Because I'm just going to do that for the majority as I'm going. But yes, anyway. Room Razor Fin Crawl. It seems to have been <laughs> a little place overtaken by Razorfin beasts, although they look like spiky pigs. There we go. So we'll head on through here. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Give you a bit of moon fire. No. There we go. So I picked up three quests right at the beginning there. Um, I picked up a quest to take down Hunter Bone Tusk, Warlord Ram Tusk, and Rugug. I also got a quest for Kral Guano. And then um, talk to the spirit of Agamagan. So let's head on in here and see where we are going. Oh darn it, I keep getting rooted. <laughs> no, stop running away from me here. Moonfire! Yeah. No, don't silence me. There we go, here's Rugog. Let's give him some moonfire love. There you go. Get a bleed on him. Make sure that we've always got a bleed on him. Ooh, carnal bridges. No thanks. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the next one. is down here watch out for these traps that are here i don't know thanks mate <laughs> i don't know how people like i don't know whether they trip them on purpose or they don't see them i don't know how you can't see them like it's a giant rope it's not like the traps in neverwinter that you genuinely can't see because they're so tiny um so i'm not too sure why people don't see them And I'm also, sh is this, I think this is the one where all these pigs are going to start running out of here. Yeah. I thought so. I feel like, I feel like Simba. You know in The Lion King, where all the, uh, the wildebeest start running and he's like, No, Dad! 
Somebody help me! That's me right there. Cause I'm like a I'm like Simba the cat. <laughs> it's like the Lion King. And this is Pumba. Why are you like hitting them? You really don't need to. Who knows? Okay, right, let's Stop rooting me! It's very annoying. No! Oh, darn it. So, yeah, if somebody um, starts and pulls this guy, uh, you will get pulled into here. Which is alright, but when you're killing other stuff. Oh, darn it. I'm gonna take down these. There we go. He's got a helmet. Don't need it, don't want it. It's him down. Really nice thing about being able to moon fire while you're in cat form. Goodness. No, oh, I'm turning around. <laughs> I'm trying to get behind him. Moonfire. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Cross this bridge. Maintain focus. Crystalline behemoth. Ah, oh, there we go. So you don't need a pickaxe anymore to actually mine stuff. Um, and if you're not high enough level to mine something, so you don't have to... I think what used to happen was if you weren't a high enough level, you just weren't allowed to mine it. Whereas now it does let you mine it, but um, you only get nuggets and then you have to combine so many nuggets to make an actual ore. So here... If you see, I got two heavy stone, but I got 13 iron ore nuggets, and then it'll probably be like 10 nuggets to make an actual ore. But I think if I was, uh, my mining was a bit higher than like level one, um, I would have actually have um, got an iron ore, actual ore from that. Okay. So let's let's go. Let's go, let's go moors. Okay, so here's Groyat the blind hunter. He is obviously a bat. Ooh. him he gives us a bow it's pretty basic not that i need it anyway there's also a couple of things that i could mine down here i might just sneakily take one there we go <laughs> i was gonna say i appear to be lagging a little bit and we've got some uh, leather as well obviously again it's quite a nice place i think to skin probably in here because I think you can skin all the bats which is pretty awesome but we are not skinners we are miners okay so we've completed one of our quests at least we're gonna get another quest you take Charla Reza Flank's heart Let's get on that. It's 
And while you're doing this one, there's, there's like a wind that pushes you every now and then. So you just have to be careful that you don't obviously get too far away so that you can't actually attack her if you're melee. And there we go. And there's also this shield, which doesn't look great either. <laughs> okay, so we've got the heart. We get uh, a ring. Uh, oh, we're level 38 as well, which is awesome. There we go. Awesome. So let's leave the instance group. That's another one we can tick off the list. Awesome. So we'll just quickly, oh my goodness, look, we're full of rubbish. So this is quite a nice upgrade for us on the ring side, which is very nice. And as you can see, look, we've gotten silk cloths and all sorts of stuff that we can then go ahead and sell. So there you go. That was Razorfin Crawl. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment and subscribe to become a sparkle. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you very soon. Bye.